Researching our family tree and finding those ancestors doesn't have to be expensive. I'm going to be sharing with you three of my very favorite research tools that I use in almost every genealogy research projects I do. And best of all, yes, they are free. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, I am Lisa, and this channel focuses on helping you to find your ancestors, grow your family tree, and not get overwhelmed in the process. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you're in the right place. As I mentioned a moment ago, I'm going to be sharing with you my three favorite genealogy research tools that I use on almost every project that I do. But here's the catch. They're not even genealogy specific, and yes, they are absolutely free. First up is Archive Grid. Now, Archive Grid is a finding tool that you absolutely do not want to overlook. As an online finding aid, Archive Grid allows us as researchers to search repositories around the world. They cover over a thousand institutions. They have over 5 million plus archival records that they have indexed. Examples of types of records you can find include personal papers, family records, old documents, and original manuscripts. Now imagine your ancestor is hidden away in a document in a small repository that you've never even heard of or never even thought to look at. I, for one, do not want to miss out on finding my ancestors simply because I never thought to actually look in a certain repository. Now let's hop over. I'm going to take you over and show you a really quick screen share of how to use Archive Grid to perform a search for a family Bible. Here we are over at Archive Grid, and I just want to show you how to do a quick search for, say, a family Bible, which is one of the things I use Archive Grid for. So up here in the toolbar, I'm the search bar, I'm going to look for the Carr Family Bible, and I'm going to hit search. Now, as you can see, I ended up with over 760 results, which is a lot. Now, as I look at these top ones, I know that I actually would want to look at those. But typically when I have something with this many results, I actually go into the summary summary view. I just find it a little easier to manage my search there. So it should come up here in just a moment. Here we go. And it's giving us a people, group, places, archives, archive locations, and the last one I think is topics. So over here, I think what I want to do, because I'm very specifically interested in the Carr family, I want to click on Carr family. And it gives me the 32 results that are specific to Carr family only, the Carr family Bible. So as you can see, that's very manageable to go through. And as I look through here, I'm thinking, okay, yes, there are definitely some Bibles I would be interested in. This first one, definitely the right time period the it comes when i click on it i find the information about what collection it comes from it's from the library of virginia it has it covers halifax county virginia that's exactly where i'm researching so this is definitely one i would want to pursue and it also gives me the surnames all names that i'm actually interested in pursuing further so i would click on the contact information to contact the library of virginia and at that point see how i could potentially view this record. So remember, Archive Grid is a finding aid. It's telling me how, who has it or what's, what's actually available and who has it, what repository has it. And then it's up to me to contact them to find out how, do I, how am I able to view that record. So you can see just because we didn't have a family record, a family Bible, guess what? There are options out there that I have to search. So I would encourage you to add Archive Grid to your toolbox for genealogy. So have I convinced you to use Archive Grid yet? Next up, number two is Google Books. Now, have you have ever used Google Books in your genealogy research? Let me know in the comments what type of books you were using. And if it's brand new to you, just let me know that in the comments as well. Google Books is a fantastic resource to help you find genealogy related books to help you in your research. Like Archive Grid, Google Books is free to use. And that makes this frugal genealogist's heart very, very happy. Books that are in the public domain are offered for free access. 
others, you may just get a little preview snippet. But either way, a variety of books can be found. Let's take a quick look inside my Google Books library online. I've taken you over to my Google Books library and we're looking at one of the virtual bookshelves I have there in my personal library at Google Books. And I wanted just to kind of give you an idea of the types of books that you can find. And so there's a, a good variety here. Starting with this one, we have the history of churches and ministers and of Franklin Association in Franklin County, Massachusetts, and an appendix respecting the county. So this is a church, some church history that I was working on. So this was um, some church history and information I was looking at. Here's one for the Munson record. So this is actually a published family history from 1896. And so that came was very helpful when I was doing a research project. Here we have the Colonial Records of North Carolina, Volume 24. So this is actually an, ind an index um, and a finding aid for, for me to use with that. So that's important. I do a lot of North Carolina research, as, as many of you guys know, we have an art, a book here on Virginia law books. And now here's something, Harper's Magazine. I use a lot of social history when I do my genealogy research. And Harper's Magazine is a fantastic place when you're studying, particularly female ancestors, to learn about the issues that were important to them. And it's beyond fashion and style. It's But you can learn a lot about the the issues that were important to the women of the day. And again, here's another one. This is um, Courting, Marrying, and Living. So I was doing some research on marriage and marriage customs, courting customs. And this one was a great help for me because it was from 1874. So close to that time period that I was working. So you can see there's quite a variety of books that you can see. These are all free. These are all available. They are out of, they're in the public domain. So I can actually read these and access these um, at my leisure here on Google Books. So I encourage you to explore Google Books and see what you can find to help with your research. So this is just a sample of the types of records that you can find over at Google Books to use in your genealogy research. Rounding out my top three tools that I use is WorldCat. Now discovering WorldCat and using it in conjunction with my genealogy research was really a game changer for me. So what is it? Well, think of WorldCat as a large digital card catalog for books, for articles, for CDs around the world. This allows us as genealogy researchers to seek out books, family histories that we can use in our genealogy research that are not necessarily local to us. And then we can pursue and get them through interlibrary loans. So what types of books do I usually go after and look for on WorldCat? I typically look for books such as family histories. I'm looking for local histories, county and at that state level. I can find things again, such as church histories. I can find transcriptions of church records. So you can see there's quite a variety that's out there that we can potentially use for our genealogy research. Let's take a quick peek at WorldCat to see how to perhaps find a county history that might be of use for genealogy research. So I usually go here into this um, search bar and I'm gonna put in Halifax County, Virginia genealogy because that's one that I use a lot. So we're gonna head over there and it gives me results for Halifax County. We have personal property tax lists. We have books with ministers bonds. So you can see I have quite a few options here of things that I might want to look at. Um, if I'm looking particularly for county heritage or histories, local, more verbal local histories, I might look at the Virginia Heritage book and learn a little bit more about it and see who has, where the closest version is to me. So it looks like we have Danville Community Library, and it gives it lists out the ones that have it close to me. So I could pursue it perhaps in through interlibrary loan if it was one that I wanted to look at. So that's really doing a quick search here at WorldCat. That's you have lots of different options. It is remember it is a digital version of like a worldwide card catalog. So take some time and explore it on your own. So be sure and add. World Cat to your genealogy research list as well. If you would like to find more free resources and websites to use in your genealogy research, be sure and watch one of the videos that I picked up especially for you on the screen now.